Hey guys, Iggy here with Faltec Unlimited, and on this episode, I'm going to show you how to make a holster for this. Stay tuned, and don't worry, because it's a lot easier than you think. And if you look here, I already cut them to size. So we got the axe head, and we got a size here. So uh, what we're actually going to do is when we uh, form it, it's going to go right about here. We're going to have plenty of room for it to bend up and then come up. Um, so again, two equal sizes. We're going to do that. They're going to go in the oven. Uh, let's see here. Got a bam right there. We're talking 350 degrees. And uh, as soon as it pops out, we'll take care of it. I just checked it. We're approaching 350. We're at 344. So in a couple seconds, we're going to pull this out. And I'll show you a couple tricks. And you got layer one. Obviously, it doesn't matter which end the axe goes down on. But we'll put it right there. And then little trick, a little bit of rim oil. That way the second layer doesn't stick. And there we go. See when it cools. Let's take a peek. Drum roll, please. Oh, yeah. Okay, I am definitely happy with that. Sweet. Crappy thing is, though, that you're literally going to be cutting all of that off anyway. And you're just going to save pretty much, you know, a rivet there. And I'll do rivets. I'll go all the way across and then down. And then we're going to cut. And then I'll show you what we're going to do to keep it from falling out. Looks good. All right, so let's do a quick, let's see here. So we're gonna put a tech lock on this. So let's hope I have one. Voila, got one. All right, so we know this, are the same. So by putting that all here, the gentleman will be able to mount it anywhere he wants. So, we will do this, put it there, there, and then, there to here, it's actually going to go to... That's still on line, yep. And then, let's see here, so this is gonna go to there. We'll follow it down. And then, would be one right there. Lots of holes. All right. These ones are gonna be all quarter inch. Because they're going to be rivets. Gonna have to chop this up a little bit just so I could get the clamps on. 
like so. Part. Deeper. Match up your ends. Wow, can't even get that in. All right. And we lost one.
All right, so cutting this is uh, pretty much straightforward. Um, so obviously we're gonna cut on the outside of the rivets here. So just flat, angled, flat, angled, flat. And then we're gonna come back and we're actually going to cut directly along the, uh, the mold. So should be fun. cut below the line so now we can take the rest off by sanding. It's actually not that bad. I'm good with that.
to do burr the edges, sand them. So before sanding, you kind of see the edge right there. So a quick hand polish, 10 times better. And we also got a little burrs, so get those out. Some hardware and stuff. Let's see here. But... All right. So uh, we know it's going to go on this side. So we'll do the snap on that side. Now I gotta find where I put the axe. And what we're using is a tactical black rubber um, snap. So that's what we're gonna use. When you buy them, I get them off knife kits. They always come with the hardware, which consists of one nut, this guy, it's the uh, the bubble snap, and then a, uh, and then a shoulder washer, a shoulder bolt. So let's see here. So what we're gonna do is figure out the best spot to put this, and it looks like it's gonna be right there. So I will load. Yeah, we'll put that there. And oh, what we, I found with these it makes it much easier. Load up the hardware first so you literally stick it in the hole and then screw because the uh the rubber is so tight on it that it will actually feed it through then go ahead oh, i'm doing this wrong because we're doing this a little bit different. There we go. We might have to get a longer bolt, which if we do, no big D, we have them here. Oh yeah, let's get a longer bolt, just so we're happy with that, because I'm not happy with that. All right, what I actually did is I took a peek at it and swapped out the nut for a longer one, because I feel it would actually work better if we do that. So again, load your nut through the bottom, load it in like so. And the hardware. And I did add Loctite on this as well. There we go. Much better. All right. And there you have it. So there's one axe. You could obviously do other designs. You don't have to cut as far as I did. You could cut a little bit lower. You could have it snap in. Like this will obviously come out a little bit, but it's not going to fall out. Um, you could also, you know, you could take this and you could put it on this side, which probably would work better because I have this lip right here to hold the blade in. Uh, I might end up doing that, you know, but all in all, this, uh, this works out. So, and there we go. 
All right, just for shits, I went on and I put it on the uh, the backside and uh, I cut it to fit so it's a little bit better. But yeah, it actually looks good, works good, works as it should, and um, yeah, this guy is uh, he's gonna see it this weekend and up in uh, oh god, we're going in Maine somewhere, but bam, and that's how you do it. All right, and that's gonna do it for this video, and that's how you make an axe sheath. Stay tuned. See you next time. Bonus content. So on this, this is I'm making a decal for someone, so don't worry about the wolf. On the hatchet, bam. The guy told me to put Guinness on it. So I'm gonna try and do some like filigree or something like that. But I'm gonna look for like a good image to write Guinness design. Let's see what it says. Hmm. Something fancy. Oh, hey, what the hell? Fancy. My chocolate milk. Hmm. Mm -mm. All right. Let's see here. Hmm, 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 hmm. Maybe I'll just take Guinness. Well, kind of like that. You know what? Let's take this. Save image as. Uh, let's see here. Enter to win. And then let's take the Guinness. Uh, I need something good. Say what? Guinness silhouette. Bam! There it is, right there. Okay, go into here. Okay, so this might not go how I hoped. Actually, not bad. All right, and then Guinness. What was that? EST D. Seventeen fifty nine. Bam. Okay, so I'll take this, group that. Bam! And I'll put that right there. So let's take this, group that. And do 
this is going to go to the laser. And here is the laser. First, I load it to that one. Okay, and then it's going to go this way. So that might be perfect. So we're just going to set this up real quick. Way too big. So this is going to go right there. So the height. Again, I like that. All right, and just do a quick program, and you guys are ready to witness custom at the speed of light. Three more times. All right. That looks freaking epic. And let's do a cleanup pass.
I like it. There it is. And before I go any further, without further ado, and a little rim oil on it. Bam. Guinness. I like it.